Ruthie again with Pope Beck at Farm, and I have Larry with me. And so since I have Larry all keyed up and he just will not leave my side, I thought this would be a great time to talk about cats on the farm. Now, Clay and I did not have cats on the farm at first, and I really, really wanted a pussy cat. So finally, my niece gave me three kittens, and I was thrilled to death with that. And uh, here are some things that I will share about cats on the farm. Um, I think every farm should have cats and I will tell you how our cats benefit us and some tips on having cats on the farm. First of all, if you have cats on the farm, I strongly suggest letting them be indoor outdoor cats. I do not have a litter box in my house. My cats go outside. My cats keep out all the predators from our farm. They keep out the mice. They keep out, because I have chickens, so they keep out the mice, they keep out the cats, they keep out possums and anything else that hangs around. Now, I'm not saying that they're going to be 100%, but for the most part, my cats do. I feed my cats outside. First thing in the morning, they get fed, and they get fed well. If they're still hungry, I will let them eat inside for a minute or outside. At night, I pick up their food and put it inside. And that's so that no predators like skunks, possums, or anything like that come around to eat their food. Um, my cats, um, they, um, what was I gonna say? they do come inside because if you do not let your cats inside and they're an inside-outside cat, they will all be hanging on your screens, trying to get in in the winter. Now, if your barn is way far from your house, you may be able to keep them in the barn all the time. But if they're, they're blah, blah, blah. <laughs> sorry for talking so fast, but if your house is close to where your barns and chickens are, they will be driving you crazy. And if you don't like cats in the house, you shouldn't get cats because you will end up trying to rehome them because it will not work for you. Um, I also feel that it's helped me to have more than one cat because they kind of bond together and so they kind of like they keep each other warm they stay together now once it's winter they will all sleep inside with me and so they're all fine also if you know keep good track of them you know as far as making sure they're healthy and that they're you know everything's like their eyes are clear and that they're not getting too thin or something like that now my cats also are hunters this week they caught a squirrel and they ate it. And they, if you have cats on the farm, they will be bringing you treasure. <laughs> and that's something that, you know, you have to be aware of that if you have them inside out, they will be doing that. Um, so those are the things, they're, they're great for moles. I do not have any moles in my yard because my cats, I had a ton of them here. They're digging holes all through my yard. My cats took care of all of that. They're great for the garden because my cats don't go in the garden because I have the bucket system. So my dirt and everything is up. So they're not going to go in there. So they go on the ground. And uh, I mean, if you have a problem with that, you could possibly get some sand or a sandbox or something, throw it outside, and maybe that might deter them from that area. Um, my chickens are all free ranged inside a fence so that they do not get eaten by hawks. So my cats do not eat my chickens, but if I had baby chicks that got outside, you can be sure that my cats will have fresh chicken. We had a real problem with cats around here, stray cats. Um, we live near a restaurant and people are constantly dumping cats off there. Um, thus, we have more cats in this area <laughs> sometimes than we should because people are constantly dumping out cats. Sometimes we'll you know, try to catch that cat and rehome it, but um, the cats in the area were getting really aggressive about our chickens. They were jumping on top of the feds because it's covered on top. They were outside trying to get in, hunting them, but when I got my own cats, the other cats stopped hanging around. I don't know why that is. They, they still come around, but not like they did. And uh, so that's another thing. If they're your pet, they're not going to be so quick to catch your chickens. They just, you're feeding them, you're petting them, you're working with them. But if you have baby chicks, they are a predator, and they will eat your baby chicks. Because that's...
that's what cats do. So what we do with the baby checks at our house is I have a rule, which I try to enforce it with my husband, but sometimes it doesn't work work, which is if I see baby chicks, I want them in the house with me until they're big enough to go into the brooder, and then they go, you know, we like have different places that we put them until they're big enough to go with the flock, because I hate to have baby chicks that don't make it, and that used to happen to us in the beginning some, until, excuse me, until I breathe in here, until I said to my husband, I want the baby chicks for me, and it's no big deal, I just like the difference if I have a canary in the house or a couple baby checks, right? <laughs> so I love animals, so it's easy for me. So as you can see, I don't know if I can get it there. Over there is Charlene. At my feet is Larry. Larry loves people. I don't know if you can see him, but over there is O.C. Orange cat. Because right now I have six cats. <laughs> but that happens. But anyway, but I think um, we usually, like I said, I have three cats, but Sometimes there's people that want cats, and I always give them away for free if somebody wants a cat. And uh, um, right now I have two cats that I think are going to go to my brother, and he wants two cats, but he just moved, so we're talking about that. And then sometimes I like I have a farmer or somebody that wants extra cats or something. So usually if somebody wants a cat, I will skim off the top of my cat herd. <laughs> I only want three cats, and but if I have a cat here, and you know that we get I usually will take care of it until I find a new home for it that somebody just loves the cat so but anyway and you know and, I, and most farmers do you know and out here where I live people keep dumping off cats so my neighbors and I have more cats than we should I think my that we should I should say more cats than most people I think my neighbor has six cats too um and like people drop off cats so everybody here is just like if they see a stray cat they usually will if it's tame they'll take it in um just that's you know, one more mouth till you find a new home for it. But anyway, <laughs> that's my story about cats. I think every homesteader should have a cat, and that's how to keep them so they're happy, you're happy. And guess what? My cats don't jump on the counters. My cats don't uh, pee in the house. They don't poop in the house. They don't do any of that because I treat them like my cats. I just, I'm right there for them. I take care of them. I don't spank them or anything like that. But if they start to get too rambunctious, they just gently pick them up and throw them outside and they can play outside until they settle down and then come inside. Okay guys, I'll see you in the next